Hello, plant people. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at garlic and specifically two questions that were asked by community members in the last video that we did about onions. And those questions were, do you remove the flowers? And if so, why? There's apparently a big debate in the online world as to whether or not you do so. And secondly, what kind of fertilizer do you use with your garlic to get the biggest bulbous format? So we'll be answering both those questions in today's video, and we'll be inserting some delicious footage of me actually harvesting my garlic scapes. So garlic, as many of you may or may not know, is planted from a bulb. Now those bulbs or portions of bulbs are used or planted generally in the fall time or the early spring. The reason for this is because they are very quick to harvest and they need that onset of winter and cold. So if you're choosing to plant in the fall, you can actually buy these in the store in the fall and then you plant them directly in the garden and they overwinter in your soil. That cold cycle causes vernalization and it will trigger germination once the ground thaws out. The stuff you buy in the store in the spring actually was stored in the cold or vernalized for you then you plant it in your garden which then will trigger the cycle of germination and sprouting and therefore voila you have your garlic so there are two different methods to planting garlic neither one of them is wrong well, because our garlic is a biannual meaning similar to onions when we plant our sets we end up with a flower and this is very very common aspect of growing garlic what this flower is doing is it's taking our energy away from our bulb formation. So our plant is completely engineered or geared towards reproduction. And garlic has two methods of reproduction. The first one being a flower that will then spread seed. And the second one being the bulb itself overwintering in the soil and therefore subdividing itself and allowing more sprigs of garlic to pop up. What this means is we have to teach our garlic or train our garlic to do the method we want it to do, which typically for many of us is going to be that bulb formation. Now, if you just wanna see what a garlic flower looks like, it's not going to kill your garlic by any means. Go ahead, go for it, Tr try your own science experiment. But typically speaking, the main goal is that bulb. And therefore we want to remove the flower so we can direct our reproductive energy back into the ground to develop that big bulb at the bottom. So that is the reason why we remove the flowers. The same reason we remove our flowers from our onion sets in the summer as well. So pluck that flower off. There's a ton of recipes for this. I honestly uh, never have really eaten garlic scapes before, but this year I decided to keep my garlic scapes and I posted on Instagram asking for recipes and there were so many different options. So um, one of the community followers, Adora, had a suggestion for, um, I'll have to look it up, but it involved pork. I'm going to be trying that one. There's another suggestion for pesto and then Missilla from Learn to Grow suggested freezing the leftovers because I guess they preserve really well in the freezer. So lots of different options for those garlic scapes. Literally anything, chilies, stir fries, you name it, anything's possible when it comes to that stuff. So there's lots of options. Be sure to harvest them and put them to good use. So now you've removed your flower and you're waiting on the rest of that bulb formation. And typically speaking, you will want to fertilize. And the fertilizer you're going to want to use is going to be engineered towards more root or bulb growth. So because we're trying to promote a, promote a petter, sorry, that was super Canadian, uh, trying to promote a better bulb formation, we want to supply the nutrients needed for root formation, which is phosphorus. So nitrogen, think green foliage, which isn't as essential, and then potassium is more for stress and that sort of thing. So phosphorus is actually one of the best nutrients when it comes to root development. That means you want to get a well-balanced fertilizer that is relatively higher 
moderately high in phosphorus and I'll leave some links down below for what those options may be. Now fertilizing, I mean it's not that big of a deal when it comes to garlic. Generally these plants aren't very heavy feeders and they're able to figure it out for the most part on their own. But if you do choose to fertilize, only need to do it about every second week. If you fertilize once a week with full dose, you, you won't harm the plant but you could restrict bulb development because remember we're in the soil area we don't want to cause any burn we don't want to cause any stress with that root system so less is more when it comes to fertilizing for garlic now absolute pro tip if you are willing to defer gratification for a set period of time you may want to consider keeping your garlic bulbs till the next year so what this means would be taking your bulbs out of the ground and then sorting through your clumps finding the biggest sections of the bulb format once you've separated your small skinny garlic cloves from your larger garlic cloves you will then want to plant those in the ground for the next year and then continue to do that until you build up a larger supply. You can do this right away in the fall time if you want and it will just again trigger that winter format and in the spring they will germinate. So it is something to think about. You can keep it going year after year. Just make sure you choose the cloves that are the most plump and firm and if you can harvest them store them inside in a nice cool dark area until it's time to put them outdoors again worst case scenario and most unfortunate scenario would be if the garlic for whatever reason through the climate changes ended up re-springing up and flowering and sending out foliage because then i mean if it doesn't isn't it able to complete its life cycle before the end of the year you do run the risk of no harvest the next year. So there you guys have it, a quick rundown on garlic cloves, everything from fertilizing, whether or not to leave the flowers, and just general care and maintenance. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite recipe is for garlic scapes and what variety of garlic you enjoy planting. I did a hardneck variety this year. Don't quote me on what the name of it was. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I'm, I'm impressed it did very well I actually got it from Walmart it was just like the little Walmart baggies in the fall so worked wonders I will talk to you guys next time bye